the stars, moon, and planets put on a pretty good show this month. And even though April is a springtime month, it's your last chance to catch the bright stars of winter, including our favorite Orion here. Let's do one last roundup of winter stars. I've created this picture using images from a computer program called Stellarium, and we've set it to show the sky in late April. If you're looking at these stars in late April, you really have to look just after sunset. Earlier in April, you've got a little more time after the sun goes down to see our friend Orion here with the three stars of Orion's belt. The brightest star of winter, even though it's spring now, is Sirius, the dog star. Let's go around the circle. Procyon, also called the little dog star. Castor and Pollux, the twins. Capella, a bright star in the constellation Auriga. Here's Aldebaran and Taurus. And Rigel, the foot of Orion, the giant hunter in the sky. These bright stars form an oval, and within the oval is the bright star with the funny name, Betelgeuse. Now, early in the month, the crescent moon will be crossing the sky and moving above the head of Orion. In a computer simulation like this, the moon isn't large enough to show its phase unless I enlarge it for you. So here's the moon magnified for you about five times. And you can see on the second, it'll be a very slim crescent. You'll have to catch it just after sundown because the moon will be going down shortly after the sun. But it's a very pretty sight to see a slim crescent, a little wider on the third, a little wider on the fourth, and more of a banana shape on the fifth as it moves over the head of Orion. Now, as you follow the belt of Orion to this way, you come to that bright star, Sirius. But following the belt of Orion this way, you come to a cluster of stars called the Pleiades. And on the fourth, the crescent moon will be right next to the Pleiades. Usually when the moon is near the Pleiades, it's hard to see that beautiful but faint star cluster. When the moon is a slim crescent, it might be possible. And I'm going to try to see it on the fourth if the weather is clear. In the middle of the month, the moon will be full around the 15th and the 16th, and it will be passing the bright star Spica in Virgo. I guess I better show you how to find that star. And we'll find the star Spica starting with something you probably know. Do you see anything in the sky back there that you recognize? Probably you noticed seven stars that make the handle and a cup shape a big dipper in the sky. Seven stars, although that one's not very bright and where I live, I don't often see it. But using the Big Dipper, we can follow around to a very bright star, Arcturus in the constellation Bootes. It's one of the top five bright stars of the night sky. If you follow the arc, you can keep going, following a graceful curve toward the star Spica in the constellation Virgo. So start at the Big Dipper, follow the arc to Arcturus, and speed on to Spica. And when Spica is rising in the middle of the month, on the 15th and the 16th, the full moon will be rising with it. We've shown the positions of the full moon on those days for Berkeley, California. If you live farther west or farther east, the positions may be slightly different. The things I've showed you so far are things that you can see in the evening, but the planets put on their show in April in the early morning. At the beginning of the month, the 1st of April, we've got Venus, Saturn, and Mars. To see them, look between east and southeast. It's the nature of planets to move around, and by the 5th of April, Saturn and Mars will have moved so that they look right next to each other. If you stretch your pinky out to arm's length, you'll just barely be able to fit it between Saturn and Mars on the 4th and the 5th. Later in the month, from the point of view of Earth, Mars and Saturn will have moved apart, and we'll get a grand parade of planets with Saturn, Mars, bright Venus, and Jupiter will be joining the collection. But what I'm really looking forward to is at the very end of the month, where bright Venus and bright Jupiter, the two brightest looking planets, will be very close to each other. Now in the computer simulation, they seem to merge to form one blob, but they will be distinct looking planets. 
So in our list of sky highlights for April, we have Saturn and Mars together on the 5th of April. They're good planets, but not as bright as Venus and Jupiter, which will be together on the last day of April. And those are all things to see in the early morning. In the evening, April is the last chance to catch what we call the winter stars, including Orion and Sirius and some other favorites. The bright stars Arcturus and Spica, stars of spring, are rising in the east, and you can see them all night in April. The full moon in the middle of the month will be next to the star Spica. And at the beginning of the month, you can see a nice crescent moon if the weather is clear. And I'm going to see if I can see it next to the Pleiades on the 4th of April. These are all things that you can see maybe from a sidewalk, from a rooftop, a backyard, go out with an adult, show each other what you see, and I hope you get some clear skies. Good luck.